Hello everyone, this is Sci Soldier here, continuing with our Let's Play Dominions 4, NASCAR Rise of the Mummies. It is now late spring in year 7 of the Ascension Wars. You can see here we have completed research in enchantment. So we are now up to level 7 in that one. Uh, that gives us the ability to cast uh, Life After Death, uh, Ghost Ship Armada, Dome of Flaming Death, uh, Awakened Tree Lord. A few cool spells. We are still after Lichcraft. And I would like to have Arcane Nexus as well. Gift of Nature's Bounty is another hugely powerful spell. Would it give us massive amounts of gold per turn. Uh, but for now, we are going for Lichcraft. Should have that in just a few turns here. Now then, uh, we are using the Soul Stone of Wolves to cast Call of Wild every turn now. And we have just uh, cast Eternal Pyre as well. That is going to give us another 20 Fire Gems per turn. We have a proclamation from Micklin. Apparently we killed one of their prophets, I guess. And there was a battle in the Divine Ocean. Uh, the province previously owned by Ryla has been conquered by our forces and an enemy temple was found and raised swiftly. Alright. There was another battle in Whitewater. Apparently Ryla has attacked us, but we defeated them. And a battle in Dark Waves. Our military force was defeated by a stronger force from Ryla. Apparently they were sending their Master Lich in there. Uh, Alright, take a look at that real quick. So basically he was just fighting against our province defense. So their Master Lich has got a 19 in defense skill. 13 attack skill. He's just got a little enchanted sword. Uh, 16 protection. A few of our Wraith Lords should actually be able to hack him to pieces, I think. He's got that invulnerability, but that is against mundane attacks. And our Wraith Lords are not using mundane weapons. So he's going to wipe out this little province defense that I've got here. Let's go ahead and quit that. Had an unexpected event where unrest is increased. Another one where we gain some earth gems. Alright, the worldwide event has occurred. The power of the throne of night has been invoked. Ever since, day has grown dimmer. Now night has overtaken day and all is in darkness. So we have constant darkness. Alright. Let's go ahead and set up our army here. Assign what units we can here. Alright, now then. Uh, we have positive dominion in these provinces now, so that's good. Let me go ahead and construct a temple here. So that I have uh, positive dominion here, I can actually use my Wraith Lords, at least in these two provinces, without fear of you uh, actually losing them. And I need to send some of these guys back here to pick up some of these Sapayas. How many do I have in this province? I've got 119 there and 146 there. I'm going to send two of them there and two of them here hmm let's go ahead and send Solrind into this province here and we will send all of those long dead down there I may be able to actually catch their uh, master lich if he deems to move into that province
All right. I'll set him to summon allies once again. And I have this massive army to move north. And these guys to move south. Move them up here and construct a temple with this guy. And I have all these guys here. I'm tempted to... I guess I'll actually wait until I have my King of Bane Fires to join them. But I do have these guys ready to go. actually probably send these wolves along with them. I'm going to have this uh, little werewolf here start summoning allies. And I will send these guys on up here to go ahead and take that province that Micklin probably thinks is safe. But it is not. I've already got a temple there. I'm going to go ahead and start reanimating with him. So I am recruiting with them every turn. I'll go ahead and start. Oh, actually, you know what? I need a laboratory there. I'll just go ahead and move him over here and I'll build a laboratory on the next turn. And this guy can build a temple. And... I'm going to set this guy to begin reanimating. And he can reanimate. Along with him. Now let's go ahead and give some long dead to these uh, revived kings here. Where are we at? There we are. Okay. We have one more. Actually, we have two more. Okay, that should be another good reinforcement for our front lines here. Uh, which way to send them? I guess we'll send them that way. So we still have that massive army moving down south there. We're sending our the Mound King's back to try and pick up uh, our Sapayas that have scattered. And let's go ahead and have him cast Soul Vortex. Well, actually, first we'll do Invulnerability. And then Soul Vortex, I think. And then we'll just have him attack the closest enemy. We'll do the same with him. Invulnerability, Soul Vortex, and then attack. Okay. I think it would actually be a pretty good idea to go ahead and revive some kings in this province. Because I definitely have the ability to revive a lot of them here. I'm 
That way I can go ahead and lead some of those troops down into Rylas territories. Considering that these uh, little winged guys cannot go into the water. I guess they're decent for research though. And let's pump some province defense in here. We're down to a pretty small amount of troops in that uh, guy's command, but I think I can probably take that province unless he has a decent amount of province defense. Yeah. Actually, let's go ahead and just hang out there for the time being. Set them in the back. Keep the Mound King in the back as well. And keep them back there. Let the province defense do most of the work. So. Let's go ahead and change that. Actually now we'll keep that and see what we can forge. We can do the Tartaran Chains. I can do this wondrous box of monsters. I wonder if that works underwater. I guess it should. Should probably summon like a sea serpent or something. Yeah, let's do that one. Why not? I'm curious to see it in action. The way our dominion is increasing, I should be able to start utilizing some of these uh, wraith lords and immortal creatures that I'm able to start summoning. Because this is all friendly dominion down here now, and that... Uh, that means we're going to be pushing our dominion that way. And we've got a lot of candles here. So we're going to be pushing that as well. I'm going to have him preach. I'll actually have him preach as well. Okay, so we're going to take that province from Miquelon. We're waiting for Antrax to regroup with this army here. Go ahead and put them under his command. I'll have these guys uh, fire and keep distance of enemy archers, I think. And if I had enough gold, I would actually go ahead and build a fortress there, maybe, but... I don't, so I'm going to go ahead and move them back home. I am building a temple there. Take a look at our gym income. So we have a pretty good fire gem and death gem income every turn now. Reading our messages. Take another look at our research. I guess it'll be about another uh, two, possibly three turns before we get level eight in enchantment. All right. Once again, I think we are pretty much good to go for this turn. I 
I may need to switch from doing research to reanimating again soon, but we're going to go ahead and stick with what we have for the moment and see if we can continue to give uh, Ryla some problems with just what we have on the way here. Go ahead and have these guys uh, research. Take one more to look here just to see if there's anything particularly useful that they could forge for me. I already forged a few uh, eye shields. Hydra skin armor is pretty cool too. Boots of stone that gives stone skin. Some amulets of resilience. Uh, I think I'll forge a couple of those. It doesn't hurt to have a few of those in my uh, magic item vault. We have bukus of air gems at the moment. Probably going to forge a ring of wizardry soon as well. But for now, we're just forging that wondrous box. Alright, we're going to go ahead and end our turn. We'll also end the video. So, as always, if you enjoy our videos, I hope you'll like and subscribe. And we will see you again next time as we push more into Mictlan and we regroup our uh, armies down in Ryla. So thank you very much, and we will see you again shortly.